Welcome yeah. back to video blog number four for the road up to Samurai Pro and we're here at Black House in Artesia, the home of some of the top fighters in the world as you see here, Anderson Silva, Nogueira, Yuri Machida and um, we're going to be training today, we're going to see, get to see some of the training from what we're going to do uh, it's one week left of camp, starting to feel it, getting skinnier the energy is not always at the top like it should be but it's still there and it's uh, this home stretch so to speak stay tuned With this instrument, very gently, we're going to touch the front surface of the eye. With the anesthetic, you won't feel a thing. It is a little odd because it's a bright, bright blue light. This measures the pressure of the eye, which is also known as a glaucoma test. And whenever you're ready, chin right in the chin is falling flat. really wide. Excellent. I'm going to hold your eyelids here for a moment. See my hand on this side? Look towards that direction, please. And hold. And I'm a competitive person, but nothing compares to stepping into a ring or a cage where you need everything when it comes to stamina, strength, agility, speed, but no other sport brings the, 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 the ultimate feeling of, of of knowing that the person in front of you is trying to to defeat you um, and 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 that there's no other sport that has that level of wanting to defeat you because in other sports in, in soccer ice hockey you get tired you can get a substitute fighting you can't do that there's only two ways out of that cage when the fights are over after the three rounds or five rounds whatever you fight and uh, if you don't do that, it's either because the person is beating you up so badly that the referee is going to stop the fight, or you have to tap out. So, so we're here at MMA Elite, and I'm picking out the fight shorts for Friday. Um, MMA Elite, also part of the MMA Elite team, is see them here: Kimo, um, Rampage, BJ Penn, Fabrice Verdum, Cyborg, and uh, they got some new stuff in. So I'm excited to see. What they have, hopefully they have my size. These guys are slightly bigger than I am. Um, you don't have children clothes? <laughs> <laughs> like baby gap. I'm going for the baby MMA elite size. Um, it's our new pro series, one of our new pro series shirts. I'm going to grab a couple of those. This is what I will be wearing as well. Um, the pro elite. And uh, some hats and shorts and... Or Fongs. MMA Elite the deck <laughs> decked out. What did you say? Fongs. Yes. The best part of this, this is like the worst part, and yet it's not. It can be. It could be. That's the plan. But like you feel like a million dollars as soon as you step off the scales. And you get to start drinking again, eating again. But the thing is, I love... I should look into the camera. Is the camera? There it is. Um, the thing is, people are going, oh, this is so unhealthy, this is so unhealthy, cutting weight. And I, look, there's no healthy way of cutting weight. But up until about 48 hours ago, 72 hours ago, all I've been doing is training really hard and eating really healthy. That, somehow, some crazy magic chemistry slash science, I get into shape. Strange, huh? You get into shape if you work out and you eat healthy. Now, the last 72 hours, they're not great, I'm not gonna lie. It's not healthy. But at the same time, if you know what you're doing, you've done it before, and you've dealt with people that know uh, the body, you know, you're fine. Is it the best thing for your liver? No. Is it the worst thing for your liver? No. I love when I get told what I should and shouldn't do and how unhealthy it is to cut weight by people that get drunk every Friday and Saturday or snort some coke and smoke some weed and tell me I shouldn't cut weight twice, two, three times a year. It's great. So, is this unhealthy? It's not the best thing for you, it's not the worst thing for you. See, I'm still smiling. I wouldn't be smiling if I wasn't feeling good. The way you feel is a response on how your body feels. 
And if I can still smile, life's good. Okay, can I throw up now? <laughs> it's the girl feels good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ah, 